हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सेलर के गणेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग वी डब्ल्यू टी एस राउंड एंड माय चीफ ऑफिसर एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट एवरीथिंग वी डब्ल्यू टी एस रूम सो प्लीज कमिंग इनसाइड माय चीफ ऑफिसर हियर गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम गाइस प्लीज एक्सप्लेन अबाउट वी डब्ल्यू टी एस रूम टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक ऑफ वी डब्ल्यू टी एस सिस्टम So here we have Balcor Sunray BWTS system, which is uh, made up of Korea, and I will explain you one by one uh, all the basics of BWTS system. So let's begin. Here we have uh, AFU, automatic filtration unit. So the blast is coming through the blast pump to the C chest, and it is coming here inside the AFU unit, and having a filtration unit inside, it will filter and and destroy the micro organisms which is 50 micro ohms or less or more or less so after destroying this one the water is going to the blast tank there is one line connecting uh, this is uh, injecting oxidant which is coming from the engine room edu unit one unit is called edu electrodialysis unit and that unit is generating oxidants which is uh, a type of chemical sodium chloride which is injecting inside the blast tank and it will further further uh, disinfectant the water by avoiding them to regrowing of that uh, organism so this way we are protecting uh, blast water we are treating the blast water and when we are de deblasting we have another set of unit that is called a and u automatic neutralization unit so that is also protected inside the engine room so basically three units are there one is afu one is anu and one is edu so these three units uh, this work on the principle of these three units so the during the blasting we need afu and edu and during deblasting we need afu and anu here we have a cabinet for the tro sensor this is total oxidant residual sensor two sets we have four starboard both side okay so it is taking a sample from the blast line through the welder pump and with the sample it is uh, Yeah, here is a blast pump. You need to open the wall of blast pump. This one, this welder uh, pump. Sorry. So the welder pump will uh, take the sample and it will pass the sample to the TRO cabinet. TRO cabinet will automatically calculate the TRO limits. So during the blasting, it is the limit is around five to ten. This good limit as per the maker recommendation. And during deep blasting, TRO should be less than zero point one. So it is the recommendation from the makers. that if it is in this within this limit it is good to go okay so here also we have same welder pump and the same cabinet here for the tro so during uh, blasting deblasting both of these this tro sensor they are uh, sensing and uh, giving the alarm if it is going high if it is going less you will get the alarm in ccr panel and uh, that way you can come to know that your uh, well this btwt uh, is working fine or not This is a f u automatic filtration unit another set is a n u automatic neutralization unit so that is used for deep blasting purpose only a f u and a n u so water will go from here to the a f u it will retreat the water during deep blasting and if the a if there is uh, the tro sensor is showing that the uh, parameters below 0.1 ppm then it will directly go overboard but if the tro is going higher that is more than 0.1 ppm then the anu will automatically acti activate anu is fitted in the engine room there we have a tank where we are adding water with sodium thiosulfate the sodium thiosulfate the solutions bag we have in the engine room sufficient generally it is required 3 to 4 bag per operations and uh, that manually we have to add that uh, sodium thiosulfate inside the tank and if the tro is going higher than the 0.1 ppm then it will automatically operate and it started injecting the sodium thiosulfate in the line and the once the tro is going low below the 0.1% it will deblast overboard so this is all about the pwt system thank you guys see you uh, next month or yearly this one yeah filtration. so the filtration unit supposed to be clear every 3 month as per our company policy or also the maker recommendation is to clean this filter open this we have arrangement given on the top uh, with the help of chain block we used to open this uh, full set up and take out all the cylinders and clean them dry them and then refit them so this is uh, routine routine checks and routine uh, cleaning 
every three months. Also, we need to wash because since we are taking sea water inside this, this thing, so it might possible that the cylinder inside this uh, get uh, rusted or corroded. So to avoid that, every operations we are cleaning this with the fresh water also. So we have to fill this uh, full with the fresh water and then black flush this into the sea. Okay. So the capacity of these pumps are 1000, 1000. So make sure that uh, pumps are running at a level at the RPM so that the capacity will not go more than 1000 RPM. Uh, if it is going more than 1000 cubics per hour, then maybe you, uh, the ceilings will start leaking. So always avoid going more higher sites and uh, be on safe site less than 1000 cubic per hour. It's good enough and that you will achieve at the RPM of 160 or 170 somewhere. Okay, so when you this, uh, this having the cylindrical pipe fitting inside, which is filtering the 50 micro ohms uh, more the particles, the foreign particles or the algae, it is treating here. So the, that treated part is discharged to the back flush pump over there and going overboard. So this is a back flush pump. It is automatically get start when there is a sludge deposited in the automatic filtration unit. It will stop uh, sending water to the blast tank and first it will do the back flushing and discharging to the overboard. So this is back flush pump which is uh, automatically working. Okay. Please. So finally this is compulsory for every ship without uh, WD. Nowadays WD. after 2018. Yeah, now uh, after 2018, it is mandatory requirement for all the ships to have this BWTA system. Some ships you will find different kind of BWTA system like UV rays protection. Some ships uh, here we have electrolysis process uh, BWTA system. So generally these two kinds of uh, BWTA system you will find most of the ships. Maybe in the future uh, some other makers will come up with a new uh, advanced technology. So as of now, most of the ships you will get this only. Any other questions you can ask me or you can ping me on a comment. We'll reply you on the next video. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the, this is our BWTS uh, system control panel. So this is the panel where we are operating the full ballast control system for treating the ballast water. So when you need to take the ballast, you have to click on the ballast uh, BWT. When you need to take a blast in after pre tank, you can click on the blast after pre tank. When you need to de blast, you can select this option. And here also we have uh, two options for engine room and for uh, pump room. For pump room means for deck side. Okay. So when you are going to start the blast system, go on this mode and then start first here. Then only you start uh, the pumps. Two pumps we have with the capacity of 1000 cubic per hour. Blast pump one and blast pump two. Before starting this pump, make sure the ballast system is started from there and the blowers are on in the EDU blowers as well as the BWTS room blower. Otherwise, you will not be able to operate this system. Okay, so this is the procedure to operating the pumps through the BWTS system. Okay, guys, this is a BWTS control panel. So, all the operations is controlled through here. The same cabinet we have in the CCR. This is a little control panel. Okay, let's go. This is the ADU unit, the last order treatment ADU unit. This is the control panel. This is the control panel for ADU unit, electrolysis unit. And here we have A and U, automatic utilization unit. In this tank, we are filling sodium thiosulfate to neutralize the blast water and to reduce the TRO reading below 0.1%. This is the PWDS filter for filling half peak tank. The same unit which we have shown you in the PWDS room for tank tanks. The same unit is given for the half peak tank filling unit. Okay. This is a PWTS preheater. If you are working on a cold weather, if you are working in a cold weather, this is required you to be utilized and give a sensor to the PWTS unit. This is for uh, taking sample for PRO for glass water treatment plant for half tank.